Um, as we're wording to the, the Hex Easy Cam, you're not gonna need everything that you see here in front of you. When you're doing this, you'll see that there's a sleeve that was covering where all the soldering and joining of the wires was done. Move the sleeve, and first of all, I separated the switch itself. So white and black wire, you'll see where they're joining in, and I took them away. Now that the switch is gone, you're left with your, your pretty much your negative and your positive wire coming into the, the loop that goes to the battery and the fuse and so on. I'm not gonna need that either. So I was able to take that away. In the end, very simply what I'm left with is the lights running down on a negative and positive, which is then going to be fed through the bike into the easy cam. Uh, washer sit in under the light. Uh, I suppose you're gonna find where you wanna mount these. There's a couple of spacers inside. I'm gonna actually remove them for this because the bars are a little bit wider. Uh, find out where you want it. I'm gonna try mount it here. We can come back and change it at a later time. Bolt will go through. The tricky bit in this one is, it's gotta go in and catch this nut in here, um, which can just pop it. So you're gonna have to try and keep that in place at the same time as tighten that up. So I find just pop something on top of the bolt just to hold it while you tighten it. Once you get a couple of twists it'll hold. There we go. Again I'm not going to fully tighten it until I'm finished but it'll just give me enough. After mounting the lights we took off the top of the tank just to give access to be able to run the wiring down. So what we'll see is we've got our lights mounted here, still loose because we may move them around. This is gonna be connection into the loom itself. And I've just yet to feed them down, but they are just sitting here. This is gonna connect to the light you've just seen down below. Wiring is tucked in under this panel. It's gonna feed under the C, and then it's gonna go in to the canvas here and one of these extensions. To give you an idea what the wording looks like after we brought it up through the tank, I'm gonna leave it on the outside here of the seat and I'm just gonna have it run under here with a couple of cable ties and make it nice and neat. Then I've threaded it up under here and have a good bit here for a little bit of flexibility. Now we're ready to connect into the Hex Easy Can. Um, you get these connections with the device. Two negative wires, I'm just gonna splice them together using one of these heat shrink tubes that already has solder, the soft solder in there. So once you put a heat gun to that, or a person you prefer a lighter, it's just a little bit tidier. The lighter you can tighten up one end first. And once you get that done, you can concentrate on really tidying it up on the other end. Now, wherever you do, after you melt this, kind of go see through, all good. But then just leave it in place to harden back up again because it does become super soft. This is the heat shrink tube. I'm going to protect all of that way. It's just an extra layer of protection. You don't necessarily need it. I'm going to do it. Let it all just cool down. Just starting to tidy up. I've actually moved the lights from the bar on the side around to the front, tightened everything up in place. <clears throat> the cables are then connected up towards the handlebars, running under the tank. <clears throat> Down the tank and they come out the rear, under the frame and cable tied under there. So you just see it. Bit of extra tape there, uh, you can ignore that. Bad work by me. I just... The wire feeds up under here. Here it is. 
You're looking at a bit of a mess of wires at the moment. Although it's the best device in the world, the Hex Easy Cam, it just does make it a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna do a tidy up of this area and hopefully get it looking a bit better. We still have access to all the wires. I'm going to put a little bit of Velcro underneath this just to hold it in place 